Hi guys, this is TM over here and today I bring you a video tutorial in how to unroot your gear 2. So this is a very simple tutorial and you will need your obviously your gear 2 that is rooted and you want to unroot. Then you will need the micro USB adapter and then a USB to micro USB cable and obviously a computer and a brain. Well, so let's begin. So First of all, just go to your computer and here in the computer go to the download link that is in the description and download these two files. Okay, so the first file is Unroot Gear 2 and Gear 2 Neo. This is a text file. If you open it up, here you have a little instructions. Uh, well, and also you have the Odin. Okay, so now just go right here and copy this link then open up your browser and then paste it and then just hit enter okay so now you are in the same mobile website all you have to do right here is scroll down here to the checker and then here just enter the device the device model well if you go here in the back of your gear well, I'm going to show you a picture of mine so you can know. Well, right here in the back, you will see that there's a modal number. Mine is SM, SM, and then R380. That's my modal. That's the modal of the Gear 2. And the Gear 2 Neo, I believe it's 81. I don't know at the end. But well, you just check out yours and and then just search it over here. Well, because mine is SM and then R380. Okay, so it is right over here. As you can see, uh, now you have all the latest version uh, of the gear. Just go right here and search for your country. Well, because I'm in Portugal, I'm going to choose this Portugal. Then just click right over here. Okay. And now, confirm download. Well, over here, all you have to do is click download. But, first, you need to register. Otherwise, if you click download, it will ask you to register in the SAM mobile website. Well, just go ahead, register, it won't take long, and then log in into your account and then just go right here and click on download as you can see mine is downloading right now well let's just wait till it finishes downloading okay so now that the download has finished it is right over here I'm just going to put this right here and I'm going to drag this over here to the to the desktop Okay, now you can close your browser. Well, so here, if you open this up, you will find this um, this tar.md5 uh, icon. Not icon. This tar.md5. Uh, and now all we have to do is go ahead and then drag these two files to your desktop. Place them anywhere. I'm gonna place mine here and now just close this one and then well all you have to do is download and flash it in the Odin we have downloaded it already now I can close this and then I have this little folder right over here Odin and open it up and then can drag these two files also to the desktop okay so now I have the you can see right here I have the operating system right over here this is the the ROM unrooted ROM and this one is the Odin that we're going to use to flash the ROM. So now just go right over here and 
right click it and then just run as administrator. If you are on Windows XP, just open Odin normally. Okay, so now this, this thing right here will pop up. And now let's go back to our gear. Okay, so here in the gear, mine is turned off, I'm just going to turn it on. So all we have to do right now is to boot, uh, to, to put the gear 2 into the download mode. And to do that, all I have to do is stay pressing the home button. And then when it's rebooting, all you have to do is press uh, two, three, four times till a little menu shows up. Okay, so let's start pressing the button. Okay, so I'm pressing the button right now. Don't release it. Okay. And then right here into rebooting, just click sometimes. Okay, now here, right here, you are in the in the recovery menu just press the home button to swipe to, to to select and then I'm going here to download and then to select download just stay pressing the download the, the home button okay so now it is in download mode as you can see right over here and now all I have to do is go ahead connect the adapter Okay, then just plug this in and then just connect the USB cable to your computer. Okay, so it is now into download mode and now let's go to the computer. Okay, so here in the computer, as you can see, there's a little uh, blue rectangle right here uh, that says zero com tree. Okay, so this means that it is ready to flash the, the ROM, the unrooted ROM. And all I have to do is go right here into AP and then <clears throat> just go to your desktop where you have that MD5, uh, that MD5 file as you can see right here. Mine is this one. Just go ahead and then open it up. This over here going to load up the file and then okay so it has loaded the file as you can see and make sure you have the auto reboot and the F reset time uh, ticked make sure both of the of the boxes are ticked and then all you have to do is go right here and press start well after you press start uh, this will this will start um, doing the file, inserting the file into your gear, and it will flash the ROM. Well, when it says reboot, you're going to um, you're going to to see that in your gear it will start rebooting, and then it will boot up, uh, and that's it. Then you have your gear two unrooted. Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because I want root. Uh, so I'm not going to unroot it but well all I have to do uh, now is just click start and after you click start this will insert the file into your gear and then it is done after it says removed uh, and reboot and then removed you can remove your gear you can disconnect it from your computer and uh, it will be already in uh, it will start up and it will ask you to connect to your phone and you know stuff like that and well then it's going to be like having a new gear well i don't know why you, you want to unroot your gear maybe you want to sell it maybe you want to do uh other things i don't know but that's how you unroot it as you can see it's very easy and i hope you enjoyed this video if you if you really like this video leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Check out my other videos and how to customize the gear 2 icons, ringtones and stuff like that. And I hope you like my videos. I'm thinking about doing a video in how to edit 
and customize the gear 2 font uh, so you can change the text and make it uh, unique so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video this was TM